Welcome to your guide to breast augmentation. Take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the procedure and what you can do to help improve your results. Remember, this presentation does not take the place of your consultation, and you should make sure to jot down any questions you may want to ask us later. Breast augmentation, or augmentation mammoplasty, is one of the most popular plastic surgery procedures, chosen by almost 300,000 women a year. This procedure can improve the contour of your breasts by increasing their size, enhancing their shape, correcting proportional imbalances, and improving firmness. Physically healthy women with realistic expectations may be able to improve their body proportions and achieve a greater sense of self-confidence and femininity. Procedure. There are a number of different options to help tailor your procedure to your specific needs, like the size and style of the implant. Your goals and physical proportions, such as the width of your chest wall, anatomy of your chest muscles and ribs, amount of existing breast tissue, and subcutaneous fat will affect the size, shape, and type of implant that's best for you. Other issues to discuss may include your plans for future pregnancy, breastfeeding, mammograms, and your family history of breast cancer. If your breasts are saggy, a breast lift may be recommended in conjunction with augmentation. You may have a choice between saline-filled implants and silicone gel-filled implants. Both implant types have positive features and possible drawbacks. For example, saline implants usually require a smaller incision, but may feel firmer than some women would like. Leakage of silicone from the gel implants can be a concern, but silicone implants are considered by most to have a more natural look and feel. We will help you decide which type of implant is the right choice for you. Both types of implants are available in many sizes, but did you know they come in different shapes as well? Implants can either be round or anatomical, often called teardrop shape, and may be smooth or textured on the surface. All breast implants that are approved by the FDA are made of materials that have been researched and are deemed safe for placement in the human body. How will your breast augmentation be performed? The incision can be made in several different locations, within the breast crease, which is called an inframammary incision, just at or slightly above the crease beneath the breast, around the areola, known as periarelar, where the incision is hidden by the change in texture and color around the edges of the areola, under the arm, in the transaxillary position, which allows the incision to be hidden in the hollow of the armpit, and the belly button, using the transumbilical tuba approach. The incision is made within the navel, belly button, and the empty saline implant is placed in the proper position using an endoscope before being filled to the proper size. The implant will be placed either below your pectoralis muscle, called submuscular, or above it, subglandular placement, depending on your unique anatomy. In both cases, the implant will be below your existing breast tissue. We will discuss the options and together decide what is right for you. Preparation. Every woman has a unique perspective on what may be the best shape and size for her breasts. And your goals will affect the way your breast augmentation is performed. It is important to discuss your desires and listen closely so that you can set realistic expectations. A great result can only be achieved when there is good communication between us. You also need to understand that the shape you have before surgery will partially determine the shape you have after surgery. Together, we will select the technique, implant, and size that will provide the best result for you. When you meet with our patient coordinator, we will discuss fees and costs. Some suggestions to help you prepare for surgery. Your safety matters to us. You should be very open. Provide all your medical history, drug allergies, list any previous surgeries or biopsies, medications, diet pills, vitamins, and herbs you are taking, even if you don't think they're important. 
Also, don't be afraid to be frank with us about your lifestyle, smoking, the strenuousness of the work you perform, your exercise habits, and the importance of getting back to work. Here are some tips that may help you reduce scarring, shorten your recovery time, and decrease your chances of complications. Discontinue using aspirin, ibuprofen, naproxen, St. John's wort, and vitamin E for one to two weeks before and a few days after your procedure. These act as blood thinners and could cause problems with blood clotting. Stop smoking and drinking alcohol in excess well in advance of your breast augmentation and for one week after surgery. Drink lots of water in the days leading up to your breast augmentation. Hydration will help you recover more quickly. To make your recovery easier and more comfortable, be sure to Arrange for someone to take you home and take care of you for at least the first day or two. Fill your prescriptions before your surgery date and have them within easy reach of where you will be resting. Place plenty of pillows or a bed wedge nearby so that you can keep your back elevated. Have several loose-fitting button-down blouses ready to wear in your new breast size. Recovery Immediately after surgery, you may have a feeling of fullness in the breasts. The greatest period of discomfort usually lasts no longer than a few days after surgery. You should also expect some bruising, swelling, and pain for the first week or two. There may be stitches that will be removed after a week or 10 days. Others will naturally be absorbed by the body over a period of time. Swelling may linger for as long as one to two months. Pain medication will be prescribed to control any discomfort. However, if you begin to have severe pain, shortness of breath, or an unusual heartbeat, contact us immediately. Depending upon where your implants are placed, you may notice that your breasts appear unnatural for the first few days after surgery, with much of your breast mound high on your chest or above your nipples. This is common due to the tightness of your chest muscles. It may take several weeks to months for your tissues to relax and for the implants to assume their long-term position. To help in this process, you may be instructed to do some massaging exercises or wear an elastic band. Make sure you follow instructions carefully to assure the best possible result. The recovery process is different for everyone, but within a day of your breast augmentation, you should be up and walking around. Although we suggest that you should plan on being out of work and away from your usual activities for the first week, you may find that you are ready to return to some activities after four or five days. For the next two or three weeks, your breast may be very sensitive and strenuous physical activities, including sex, should be limited. In the six weeks after surgery, your body will be making a capsule around your implants. Upper extremity exercises and activities can gradually be increased during this period, but it is important not to overdo or take part in strenuous activities so that the capsules heal well. While there will be permanent scars, they will be well hidden when you're wearing clothing and even when you're wearing a swimsuit. The scars are usually small and become difficult to see as they heal over time. The appearance of your breast should improve over a period of several months. Final results vary from woman to woman and can be long-lasting. However, implants are not guaranteed to last a lifetime, and pregnancies and aging can affect longevity. What are some of the risks of breast augmentation? This information is not intended to frighten you, but to help you make an informed decision. No question or concern is silly or insignificant. We will be happy to discuss the full range of potential complications and answer any question you might have regarding this procedure. Though breast augmentation is a well-established surgical procedure, there are risks of complications. Just as in any operation, bleeding, infection, and scar formation can occur. Asymmetry in size and decreased or loss of nipple sensation are possible. Capsular contracture formation, which results in firm breasts, is a complication, though its occurrence is less common due to newer techniques. In a small percentage of patients, additional surgery may be necessary to correct this problem. All women should start routine mammogram screening by the age of 40 or earlier 
if there is a family history of cancer. Be sure to let your technician know that you have breast implants. As with all medical procedures, be sure to choose your surgeon wisely. It is important to choose an experienced surgeon you can trust and develop a good rapport with so you can openly discuss your concerns and particular needs throughout the process of consultation, surgery, and aftercare. Should you decide to move forward with your breast augmentation, a surgery date will be scheduled. Prior to surgery, you will be given complete, printed preparation and recovery instructions. Remember to keep your follow-up visits, as we are here to help make this a wonderful experience for you. Feel free to review any part of this presentation you like, and be sure to take a look at our before and after gallery to get a better idea of the results you may achieve.